right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get Pandemic Plague versus EG's Jellicent. Facing off here for the Intel Extreme Masters. This is going to be quite a night. You're listening to Grease Scotsman with Quake Live TV. And uh, I'm really excited to be bringing you this match tonight. I mean, it's just in warm up here, and I'm watching uh, Gelsec. Of course, he's playing as Move Through Me tonight. It's kind of an interesting name. But um, he's definitely warming up with the Rockets. Uh, Plague's eaten quite a few in the face. So this, I think, is going to be a great matchup. And uh, definitely looking forward to it. So, guys, let your friends know this thing is going live. And um, how you doing this evening, Jahar? I'm doing good. I would like to uh, hop in game. I just need a pass. Unless you already posted it, I missed it. Already posted. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, okay, buddy. Yep. You made it. You made it really obvious. I'm sorry. I did. I did. I do what I can. <laughs> All right. I'm just letting the admin know that um, they never need to wait for us. <laughs> uh, we do so many of these things. It's pretty rare when we're the holdup. That being said, we are gonna go live here. This is gonna be Plague versus Gelsack. Uh, Ty, he's playing as Move Through Me. Let's take a look. Play to get himself an RL start. And Mega and uh, Move Through Me. Of course, uh, not having the red armor in his arsenal. Uh, he got the crappy spawn. And uh, you can see how he's played it. He played it very defensively. Red armor's finally picked up. And so he's trying to defend against a, a quick grab of a railgun. But uh, all for not, he gets shot way down the hall. Plague is uh, landing some beautiful shots, long range, and now this is going to be a very difficult thing, but he's coming up behind uh, Gelsack. I'm just going to call him Move Through Me since that is his uh, uh, tag for tonight, but uh, just keep in mind that's who that is. Um, but yeah, he's basically been chased this entire time, this, this first 45 seconds. Um, he has managed to not give up a frag yet, so you know, kudos to him. But you can see sort of the hard and long road. Road folks road that uh, he has had to travel both players going silent and it's going to be the first blood drawn by plague as he sneaks up with a slightly better stack and uh, is waiting out for red now you can see he's spamming nades down towards mega because there is about a uh, oh i don't know six second um uh, four second delay here between red grab and mega spawn so plague uh, through all this nadage has given himself this item, and of course, Rocket's uh, long range are going to take a long time to travel, so Plague is in really good shape here to also um, set up and try to catch move on the back side of the map. You can see he's laying a trap here. Here comes Red. Do we have Jahar on the server yet? Yes, indeed, and I'm just impressed with how Plague is doing this so far. Red is now up, and we're seeing a play for it, and there's a bit of distance here, and Plague is going to be taking a, quite a bit of damage. This puts him at a point where one more rail could take him down. He's going to be going back over, grabbing that yellow, but that's going to allow a move through <laughs> to grab that red armor and nail another rail there. Yeah, and honestly, the rails right now from Gel are fantastic. Plague is, uh, strangely enough, on the run, so... Um, despite this, yeah, a little bit of a turnaround here. I, I don't think it's, you know, really anyone's control just yet. Let's go take a look. We, we do see upper yellow picked up by play. Red is picked up by gel. And, um, he is now going to try to stake his claim on Mega. He's a little bit early for it. He might go and get this yellow beforehand. He's looking for the shot. And behind him comes Plague. And that will secure him Mega. Let's see if uh, there can be enough damage done. And you can see Jell still pressing in. Plague saying, I got the Mega. I'm going in. But one great defensive rocket will push Plague back one more time. And uh, honestly, I think I that think saved Jell's life. There, bro. What was that? <laughs> I think you got your players swapped around. No, no, no. Move through me is gel set. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, you were saying that play got the mega. Oh yeah. Whatever. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, plague here finding gel. In the, sh in the hallway, and he looks to do the damage with the shotgun, and really that was the ideal place to do it. That grenade launcher could have done a lot of damage, but Plague was able to get that uh, hit hit damage done. And right now that's going to give him two frags, but again, I gotta agree with you there, because we're not seeing solid control coming out of either guy here. Things are a little bit haphazard. Now, that could be changing as Plague grabs the red armor. Still 22 seconds before Mega comes up, but he's looking to set up and make sure that he can really secure this and make this map hit. 
Yeah, and so far, you know, two frag game and not even four minutes burned away. This is really anyone's uh, anyone's shindig at this moment because uh, back and forth we see great LG battle breakout in center, and oh it's going to be play pulling out the rail to land frag number three. He does hit a shot just before red is picked up. So if we go and take a look at Jell, um, he does have that full red armor. Also picks up the plasma yellow. So uh, by virtue of that rail shot landing before the red grab, he is now stacked quite nicely on armor. And of course, with a little bit of health, he is now full health. But um, I mean, I, I think if you can get this red, he'll be in pretty good shape. Oh, but both players careening through, they fall down to rail. And uh, we will see the first frag for Gel picked up there. And uh, I think that was a much needed frag because had this thing gone 4-0, it really would have uh, put Gel on the back foot. Um, and really but, the only uh, thing that saved Gel there was the fact that he was able to use his rockets to pop up his opponent, throwing mm -hmm. off his aim with the LG, he was not able to switch up his weapons, and really that fight, that was not anticipated by either player. You can see that they were both kind of going for red, ran into each other at the wrong moment, and go, well, I guess I guess there's going to be a frag out of this, and that's the way it went. And right now Gel is looking to make this even nice. closer. Right now he it's 3-1. He, he moves should. in for the kill and does get it. So that's going to bring it within one, and he does does pick up that Mega. Now, uh, he saw where Plague spawned, so he can actually get this red almost, um, yeah, without really any damage, because uh, wow. Plague didn't really have any weapons. He neatly jumped over both of those grenades. Yeah. Yeah, didn't really have any weapons that would like, be effective, pop, pop. so... Um, Plague is uh, actually really the man on the recovery. Let's go take a look at him. He goes to the back side of the map, and we just saw that that uh, Plasma Yellow was picked up just a, a little bit before, so... Plague is actually really in a bad way. He's going to play this very defensively and very slowly before he uh, gets back. He's trying to lay a trap, and he's like, oh, that looks too good to be true. And sure enough, uh, <laughs> creeping through the air comes Gel, and he grabs that red. So let's go back over to Gel. We've sort of seen where Plague is at in this particular match. And um, at this point, I would say, with a nice 200-200, Gel is uh, looking to tie this thing up, Jahar. I would definitely agree, and the, the first part of this map being so haphazard, the cards had to fall somewhere, and right now they're falling neatly into into Dell's hands, and there it is again as he grabs that red armor, and there have been a few key moments here where Plague was setting up a trap, but Jill moved, I think, quicker than Plague really anticipated him uh, to, uh, mm -hmm. to move, and that just really lets him get out of these situations without taking a lot of damage. Th there have been moments where Plague has been set up in an Area, looking to do some damage, but even bef just as soon as he gets his setup and before he's really even ready to do the shot, Jill's already there and gone. And you know we've seen Jill manage to maintain nearly a 200-200 stack. Finally, eats a rail, but he's good. Play gets popped up again, and that will once more be his demise. So we will see a 3-3 game, and so far the rockets for Jell, um really assisting him in, in getting him some easy frags. Um, way early for red, I think, uh, yeah, uh, Plague's not going to stand there. But as you can see, superior This stack. is a point where I, I think, yeah. <laughs> I, I think this is a point where an old Japanese phrase would actually be kind of relevant, where it was, my opponent started moving before I did, but I got there first. <laughs> And so you can see that Jell is just kind of letting Plague get into these situations, and Plague has been paying the price for it. And right now, that's going to make it 4-3 as Jill neatly moves into the lead. And we might not see that change in the last couple minutes of this map. Right now, strangely enough, we're not seeing a trade between Mega and Red, so I think Plague has kind of lost his control in this map because Mega's been up. It was sp it spawned at the same time as Red Armor, and now, honestly, Jell could have gone and gotten it. Um, I mean, I, I think that, you know, had he kind of chased his own nades there, he probably could have snuck in for it. But he decided to play it defensively. <laughs> and um, that was really the first item that Plague had, had been able, able to get um, without a whole lot of hassle. Uh, the last several red armors have gone to gel. And um, we'll get this one as well. And actually, he, he decides to go strong. And what a great move it is because... Uh, you, know, you could see that Plague was anticipating a move to red. He was setting up to, to hop back in in order oh, to try geez. to take a long-range shot. And uh, I don't think he expected Jell to be totally in his face. And that has also given him two extra frags on top of